I think that the impact of, of newspapers on the American Revolution is profound. And it's profound not just because these were elite men reading about the important events of the day and then taking action in various colonial legislatures. You, you know, that might be a traditional story that we could tell about newspapers. But the beauty of newspapers, unlike books or unlike really erudite pamphlets, is that newspapers were meant for a broad audience of people who had business dealings with American cities or business dealings with London, uh, people who were subscribers because they wanted to uh, you, you know, read literature or read about the latest events around the world, um, and you, you know, and they were often read aloud even to people who weren't uh, who weren't literate in taverns and other uh, you know, and in private homes and in other places where people gathered. And so, newspapers really were even in the 18th century a form of mass media. Um, and so they were a way to engage not just elite white men, but ordinary people of all stripes, anyone who felt that they might have a stake in society or a stake in politics or a stake in the economy could, um, you know, or a stake in, in American culture could be participating in this newspaper conversation in some way. Even if they're just consumers of news, they might uh, become producers of news if they're taking up arms and, and rebelling against the British or supporting the British Empire if they were loyalists. So in that way, I think newspapers are vital to an understanding of the American Revolution.